Watwa family, welcome back to the channel, man. It's your boy, Mr. Watwa, and today, 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 hey, yo, skr, skr, man, check this out. Yo, we got a video today. It's called Five Myths About Jesus. You probably, you probably believe. Okay, man, we're about to get into it. Now, remember, this is your first time on the channel. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe and join the Watwa family. We the little family on YouTube, and that's a fact. Also, before we get started, started, put a like on this video. Remember, if you got a video you want me to react to, get down in the comment section. Let me know, and we get to it, man. Let's go ahead and get into this reaction. Many of the things you think you know about Jesus are probably not true. Ah, uh, the Immaculate really? Deception. Really? We're about to get into this with our family. Let's get to learning. John and Hannah back on Think Tank. Now, everybody, pump the brakes. Pump the brakes. We're interested in history here. We're not interested in making anyone feel bad about their religious beliefs. Your religious beliefs are important to you, and they should continue to be important to you. But preach. we are looking back. Amen. Research done on preach. early Christianity. And so we're going to be talking about some of what are apparently the facts there. You can accept them or not. That is your, that you have free will. True. Jesus said so, actually. <laughs> so let's talk about some of the things that most people believe about Jesus Christ that isn't probably actually the case. The first is that he was a single man for his entire life, probably. probably yeah, exactly. Nobody put a ring on it, which is messed up, because that dude, he had great connections. Great abs. His dad was awesome. <laughs> and he had nice abs. And nice hair, but maybe not. <gasps> Jesus and his disciples would have been practicing Jews, and all great rabbis we know of were married. A rabbi being celibate would have been so unusual that some modern writers have argued Jesus must have been gay. <gasps> I'm not making that case. Some modern writers are. But a number of ancient texts, including the canonical New Testament, point to a special relationship between Mary Magdalene and Jesus. So, in all likelihood, he probably got married at some point. Whoever the one historical Jesus or the couple of people have been combined in Jesus. Probably Whether he married. got married or he was gay or he was single, it doesn't it's matter. Cool. Yeah, it's all cool. Yeah, it doesn't cool with You can, you can be important married. historically regardless. Uh, the second is that he has this long flowing hair. You see it in all really? the pictures and everything. It's prob probably not true. In the Apostle Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, he addresses male hair length. Does not nature itself teach you that if a man wears long hair, it is degrading to him? That doesn't mean necessarily that he couldn't have long hair, it's but really, they didn't seem to like it's it. It's really then. funny because they said that people use this against the hippies, like in the 60s, to say mm -hmm. that your hair, your hair shouldn't be long, you shouldn't be a hippie. Mm. Jesus. If, if you're going to say Jesus had long hair, you yeah. be consistent. Come on. <laughs> uh, yeah, he what might not have had it, but on? if he had like a cool crew cut or something, that's pretty badass. Dude. Or like if it. he like shaved like maybe like some of his... Like a big J? Or like WWJD like in his That head. would be badass. That would be so cool. Thinking like, ahead. He would be like walking like a yeah. of people behind him. Like, oh, what would Jesus do? He's right Yo, there. Yo, these... But we hey, can also look at his These people cut. are... are yes. I don't know. I think they're trying to just be funny. That's historically inaccurate, I think. Uh, the next fact about Jesus is probably not true is that his name is, is Jesus. It's probably not Jesus. His name is probably actually Joshua. In Hebrew, Yahshua, meaning deliverance or salvation, it was common among Jews in the ancient Near East as it is today. Joshua and Jesus are actually the same name originally in the original language and are translated differently in our modern Bible to distinguish Jesus from the Joshua of the Old Testament what? who leads the Hebrew people to the Promised Land. Right. Yeah. So it's just like instead of true? being like Joshua and like Joshua... I don't know what Jesus' last name is. Mm -hmm. W, H, mm -hmm. like you know, like when you're in school and they put like oh, I like, see what you're saying. Yeah. You know what I mean? So maybe that was like too much. And it's like they were like, this is too juvenile. Like, let's just give him a different name. Yeah, yeah. I mean, look, a lot has been changed in translation. Look Many people would on. insist that that was his name, but regardless of what his actual name was at oh, that I time. Oh, I think his last name is C. Jesus C. Jesus Christ. <laughs> C. It stands for Corinthians. Oddly well, enough. I no, said I like know. H or W. I don't know what you're saying. Yes, C out of for Jesus Christ. I was trying to be understanding. <laughs> But anyway, uh, the next thing is that the sort of information about his life was sort of being recorded by his followers, his apostles, as it was going on. It's probably not actually the case. The New Testament Gospels were written long after Jesus would have actually died, up to several decades after, and no technology existed with which to record his teachings in real time unless he wrote them down himself, which he didn't. They had some technology, but you can only record so much on Snapchat. Eventually mm -hmm. it runs out of space, and then he has you to repeat get, himself. You only get that circle. Like, once you push it, and you only get the exactly. little circle. It's like, come on, get to the fishes and loaves. <laughs> um, so, again, that doesn't mean that they didn't correctly remember some of what, what happened. He said. Or but the, it was uh, the decades basic after. idea. The basic but it, idea. What's, it's you're not like you're reading a verbatim diary of his. Exactly. It's an interpretation by people who, in some cases, were there for the events, but in some cases were not actually themselves present for the events. That's just what seems to be the case. And then finally, uh, 
the final, I guess, sort of makes sense, is that he uh, died on the cross. He was crucified on the cross, probably not, or maybe not. For centuries, scholars have known that the Greek New Testament word staros, which is translated in English as cross, can actually refer to a device of several different shapes, commonly a single upright pole, a torture stake, or even a tree. So it might not have been a cross, it might have just been an upright pole of some kind. Yeah, and the way that that's kind of evolved is that people kind of took on the idea that like an onk, you know how an onk mm -hmm. is shaped, it's similar to a cross, mm. and people said that meant life, so when he resurrected it made more sense to kind of come those meanings. I can wow, see that. Really? Yeah, yeah and, and again, like it's fine to have the sort of imagery, the, the iconography that you have as religion. It wouldn't really be any different if it was just a pole. It can still right. be as significant to you historically as uh, being sacrificed on the pole. Was. Also, a lot of things I, f I feel like for the Bible and stuff like, and a lot of for religions and stuff like that, they mm -hmm. have stories that they tell that may or may not have happened mm -hmm. but it has symbolic meaning and it's supposed to like it's supposed to communicate a certain moral or yes. ethic code for the people who follow that religion and that i am totally on board with but it's also interesting to hear kind of the history behind where some of that might have come yeah, from exactly. and where the disparities lie yeah exactly and and look if this is something that is personally super important to you then uh, don't shy away from the actual information if you love jesus the historical figure the religious figure you should want to know as much about his life and it's the historical Historians who are actually trying every day in various archaeological sites around the world to find out as much as possible. And so we're gonna we're gonna give you more as we get it. If you have some interesting facts about Jesus with some supporting evidence, then feel free to post it down below that like button in the comment section, and we will take a look possibly for a future video in this series. And we will see you in the next video. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. Um, well, first of all, um, this was a good video. I was expecting, I, th I thought it was going to be more serious, but obviously they took the comical route, which is good. So, um, shout out to them. I really expect that. It's a, it's a good way. Um, five myths about Jesus. Wow. Okay, so um, the first one, well, the, the one main thing was the whole thing about the cross. Like, they're saying that it's not really a cross. It's more so like a tree or a pole that maybe had a pivot on it. So, I mean, you know, we, we, we can get technical on that. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, and then the plus the whole thing they were saying about nothing was was actually recorded. Like Jesus did not actually record anything. He did not write down anything at that time. So everything is going about after his death. So is everybody um, is talking about it or, you know, basically saying what they remembered oh I remember this and write it down or I, I, I know that he did this and stuff so I mean I don't know it's, it's a touchy situation it's a touchy topic uh, with Talk Family, I want to get down in the comment section. Please post a link that's more, you know, more detailed about Jesus because I want all of us to learn more about it, about him, you know, together. And um, I mean, this was good. I mean, this was good. It, it's I don't think this was a, a video meant to go in depth. I think it was just talking about the myths or whatnot. So. I don't know. We're going to see, man. It's your boy, Mr. Wattwa, man. If this is your first time on the channel. You have not already subscribed. Go ahead and subscribe and join the Wattwa family. We the this family on YouTube, and that's a back. And also, before you leave the channel, put a like on this video. Remember, guys, I will see you tomorrow. Why? Because I post videos every day. So please take care. Stay safe. Whoop.